Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Whether it's for business or pleasure, everyone travels. However, not everyone is good at it. So today we're going to show you some of the best traveling apps for Android to help you get from point A to point B. First on our list is a very capable app called Hotels.com. In most cases, when you travel, you need to stay in one of these hotel things, so an app that can help you find them is always a good decision. Hotels.com does a pretty decent job of that, and it has about as many features as you can ask for. You can search hotels by either your current location or your future destination. You can also sort by star rating, customer review, and price. During our testing, we found some decent deals, but nothing overly special. It's solid, and it works, and you can't ask for much more than that. Next on our list is an app for people who like to use the bus. It's called iNextBus and it gives you the bus schedules in a number of cities. While it can be used by people who live in these cities locally, it can also be useful for travelers who are in a strange, large city and want to get somewhere. The app is very simple to use. Just click the prompts where you want to go and see where the nearest buses are. It will tell you automatically upon opening the app based on your current location, but you can search for other routes as well. We wish there were more routes, but that's something we're sure will come eventually. Number 8 on our list is called Hipmunk Flight and Hotel Search. This app features a cute chipmunk mascot, which we approve of, and also helps you find flights and hotels. It claims to do this by comparing the rates of various websites and then showing you the results. This is probably the most useful app on the list so far. You can use the first part to find a flight on the date you need, then once you do that, you can simply jump to the other side to find the hotels. There are a variety of sort items and prices were relatively decent. All in all, it's a pretty nice app. Number 7 on our list is another hotel app called Hotel Tonight. This is developed using the Android design standard at least for the most part, so holo YOLO fans will enjoy how it looks. Design preferences aside, this is a fairly decent hotels app if it works in your city. It had Cleveland and Cincinnati, Ohio, but not Columbus, Ohio, so they've already disappointed me. However, if you're going into a city that the app supports, it's a truly enjoyable app to use. You can only use it to book hotels on a day's notice, and it even has little fun facts about each hotel. Number six on our list is an app called, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Agoda. This popular hotel booking app is a pretty solid option if you're traveling and need to find a place to stay. While other apps search only metropolitan areas, one thing we thought was really cool about Agoda was that you can search by landmarks or suburbs, not just major cities. The interface is reasonably easy to use. You search the city or area you want to book a hotel in. You then define how many in your party, how many rooms, and for how many nights. It even lets you search for smoking and non-smoking, Wi-Fi, and pool access. You can also book straight from the app, which is an added convenience. Number 5 is an awesome little app called Kayak. This app can do so much that it's kind of intense. You can book flights, hotel rooms, and rental cars. You can check out flight price trends, plan a whole trip all at once, and even get airline fees for bagging and convert currency. Really, it's pretty awesome. We can't really understand why this wasn't rated higher. We couldn't think of much this app couldn't do. It has a decent user interface and it's pretty easy to use. It even comes with a packing list so you don't forget to pack anything. I mean, really, what else could you ask for? Taxi Beat is number four on our list, and as the name implies, it's an app that helps you hail a taxi. The premise is really cool. Instead of hailing a stranger, you call a cab that's been reviewed by other Taxi Beat users, so you know who you're getting and what to expect. It's really quite unique. The only really bad part is that it's very region specific. It's only available in a handful of areas, including Paris, Athens, Rio de Janeiro, and a few other locales, so people in the US can't use this one yet. Despite that, people who have tried so far have really, really liked it, and it's recommended if you're going to a city that's on the supported list. First in our top three is TripAdvisor. If Kayak had everything necessary to plan the trip, TripAdvisor takes care of everything once you get there. It lists hotels in the area like any good travel app does. It also has restaurants, activities, entertainment, and nightlife listings for things to do while you're in town. Like most of the apps on this list, TripAdvisor's interface is nearly idiot-proof, so finding what you want to find is quick and easy. Not only is this good for travelers, but it's also good for locals as you can explore new places around your area or even add new places to the app for tourists to check out when they pass through. Number two on our list is the app for booking.com. This fairly decent and solid app helps you find and book hotels. Like Kayak, it's one of the few on this list that lets you book your hotel room from within the app. It has a large selection of hotels at competitive rates. The interface was friendly and easier to use than most. A lot of the interface lets you swipe between pages instead of backing up and selecting a new page. That was very convenient. There is nothing really that helps this app stand out. It's just very solid and people seem to like it. 
There is one type of travel we haven't covered yet, the venerable road trip. It just so happens that our number one rated app is Gas Buddy, an app dedicated to the driver. It does this by displaying the gas prices for just about everywhere you could ever need to go. The app is very simple. Open it up, create an account real quick, and either find gas stations based on your current GPS location or search by zip code. This is handy for planning pit stops on road trips or even locals who want to find the best prices on gas. In just my area, I was able to find gas up to 30 cents cheaper. That's probably why so many people love this app. If you take a glance at the leaderboard, you can see how these apps stack up against one another. We wanted to do more than just a list of hotel apps, so we made sure to find other apps that could be useful to travelers. If you want to check them out, the links are in the video description. As stated, there is more than one way to travel, and finding the best way for you is what is most important. So if there is a travel app that you had a particularly good experience with and you want to talk about it, let us know in the comments. Also, for the record, hotel Hotels and airlines do not approve when a certain Android Authority app guy accidentally books plane seats and hotel rooms, then calls to cancel. That was my bad. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. Don't forget to check out the written companion to this video and the social media links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.